More than 500 members of Lake Orion High School's Class of 2022 walked across the stage at Pine Knob as they received their diplomas. The next phase of Miracle Field is complete as the community gathered to celebrate the grand opening of the home plate concession stand. The Orion Township Public Library was bustling with activity as avid readers gathered on the grounds for the kickoff of the summer reading program. And the Orion Area Chamber helped yet another local business celebrate its official grand opening with the ribbon cutting ceremony. Hello everyone, I'm Stacey Calloway. I'll have those stories and so much more on this edition of ON TV News. Lake Orion Community Schools celebrated the last day of the 2021-22 school year on Friday, June 10th. Just one day earlier, the class of 2022 officially received their diplomas as they moved on to the next phase of their lives. On the evening of Thursday, June 9th, 534 seniors gathered at Pine Knot Music Theater in Clarkston for Lake Orion High School's class of 22 graduation ceremony. Principal Stephen Hawley welcomed the students and their family members and introduced the faculty and attendants. Speeches were made by Board President Jim Wheatman and Superintendent Ben Kirby, and seniors Paige Walker and Kyla Carson delivered student messages. Here are some of the highlights. Today's world is focused on the what more than the how. We are asked to give consideration for people based on race, gender, religion, politics, age, ethnicity. But it can be so easy. Just extend kindness to everyone without qualification. And that's what this class has done. As you move on from Lake Orion, always remember the power of your kindness. It's the gift you give others, and at the same time, you give yourself. We are counting on you to continue to be beacons of kindness in the world that needs it more now than ever. Continue to be kind to others and to yourself. You are to be commended for your perseverance, teamwork, flexibility, and grit that got you here tonight. You are Dragons for Life. You are the class of 2022. Congratulations and go Dragons. If you remember anything from your time in Lake Orion, remember this. You are not defined by your circumstances. You are defined by your response. We are not just survivors. We are growers and doers and graduates, and whatever you want to be. So congratulations to the Lake Orion High School class of 2022. I can't wait to see how you define yourselves in the years to come. Finally, our senior year. We are thankful to resume to a regular school year with activities such as football games and fall sports, allowing fans to attend, homecoming week, marching band, clubs and activities all in full swing. However, Senior year was changed forever, as I do feel it is important to take a moment to honor our friends and neighbors in Oxford, as November 30th school tragedy brought a sadness and devastation to our whole community. We will forever remember the lives lost that day, and it is my hope that each of us are able to learn and spread only kindness to one another moving forward. Our graduating class today, through their steadfast determination, has been remarkable in so many ways and we give them much credit for the successful navigation through their high school careers. This senior group has proven themselves in the classroom time and time again, evidenced by the scholarships being awarded to an unprecedented number of graduates. These graduates have garnered acclaim in the areas of visual and performing arts and our athletes under the direction of Mr. Chris Bell have competed at the highest level. This group has contributed to many programs that have been highlighted and recognized at the state and national level. They have selflessly raised a record amount of money for charity, and they have exhibited an astounding commitment to service, contributing thousands of hours to the greater community. After the final senior cross the stage, student leadership president Kyla Carson returned to the stage to lead his classmates in the tassel ceremony. 
Please move your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations, Dragon. We have now graduated. As the members of the class of 22 head off to bigger and better things, the rest of the students better enjoy the summer while they can. The first day of the 22-23 school year has been scheduled for Tuesday, September 6th, the day after Labor Day. In April of 2019, the Lake Orion community gathered at Friendship Park to break ground on a very special project. Miracle Field allows those with special needs to enjoy sports without any obstructions or barriers. Now, more than three years later, the community gathered once again to celebrate the next phase of the project. On a beautiful summer Saturday morning, June 18th, morning Friendship Park in Orion Township was bustling boys. with activity as the community came together to celebrate Our the grand seat. opening of the Home Plate concession stand. This place is uh, its a miracle and it's magical. It's, it's literally the best day of the week every time I'm out here. I mean, it's, and then today just exceeded expectations. I mean, the perfect, most incredible baseball weather, not too hot, amazing crowd. And we received a $100,000 check that put us within $40,000 of totally completing the project. We're at almost over a million dollars total project and it's been all donated. I mean, just incredible day. In addition to the grand opening of the concession stand, the 2022 Miracle League season kicked off with a triple header of games scheduled throughout the afternoon. The community broke ground on Miracle Field in April of 2019 with fundraising efforts beginning long before that day. Players and fans celebrated opening day in August of 2019 and construction on the concession stand began in June of 2021. The Utuma family donated $100,000 to help complete the project, with mom Andrea throwing out the first pitch alongside former Detroit Lion, Lomas Brown. Man, this is so great. It really is, man, to know that we have something for these kids and they're able to come out, play, enjoy the sports that we enjoy. So I just think it's a great thing, and that's why I'm out here. Any chance I get, I'm coming out to support. That's awesome. What are you witnessing, the atmosphere? It's a great atmosphere, and that's what I think people don't realize. It's a great atmosphere. These kids are giving their best. They're out here trying. And the parents, the parents are out here having a great time. And that's what community is all about, bringing everybody together and having a great time. Spectators who visit the park can now enjoy hot dogs, nachos, and refreshments while helping to raise funds for Miracle Field. The building, now named Andrea Yatuma's home plate concession stand, will employ staff with special needs. So it's a partnership. The concessions uh, is a partnership with Easter Seals, just like the field is. And they're going to staff it, and it's going to be open not just for e Miracle League games, but for our baseball season, soccer season, and the, and the proceeds will help to keep this going. But the really special part about the concession stand is we're going to be hiring people with special needs, people that might be overlooked. We're going to teach job skills here. So it's like, it's the miracle keeps, keeps giving. It's, it's incredible. Literally the best project I've ever worked on in my life. And it's right here in our community. You know, everyone thinks what the Miracle League provides is a baseball program for children with disabilities. I see it completely differently. I see that this is an opportunity for children with disabilities to gain confidence and self-esteem. They come out here, they have a successful experience at every at bat. I can only imagine how that might translate to future work. Fundraising efforts are ongoing to benefit Miracle Field. To find out how you can donate, you can call 1-800-75-SEALS or visit www.eastersealsmichigan.com. For additional information about the Miracle League of Michigan, please visit michiganmiracle.org. Although the Orion Township Public Library offers a lot more than just books, the staff is always coming up with creative ways to make reading fun. Recently, the library hosted an event that encourages readers to keep it up throughout the summer. On Saturday, June 11th, the Orion Township Library invited the community to come out for the kickoff of their summer reading program. Perfect weather plus family-friendly games and activities attracted a record turnout. We're kicking off our summer reading program, so kids can come, kids, adults, and teens. This is the first day they can pick up that um, game board that allows them to win prizes and earn <coughs> uh, fun things just for reading and reading for fun. So what are kids and even adults expected to do throughout the summer? So kids, uh, they have library-related activities, and they also have uh, 
reading challenges and um, there's things like visit the book bike or come to the library program or read for 30 minutes outside and then they can mark it off and then once they finish all those challenges they come in and get a prize. It was the first time new library director Chase McMahon got to experience the event. Visitors were able to take part in a meet and greet while the director handed out ice cream. I am absolutely amazed at the turnout. Uh, we, were, we were hoping for a big turnout and we certainly got that and much, much more than we ever, ever expected. So really pleased with it. What do you attribute to this response? Um, well, I think it's an indication of how much people love the library, how much they missed being able to do this for the last couple of years. Um, and so I think it's just a, it's really great that we were able to do it. People are out here uh, ready to, to participate in summer reading and be here at the library. The summer reading program will come to an end in mid-August with prizes and more fun activities planned at the library. Just one week later, residents gathered at the library once again, but this time the gathering was brief before participants were sent out into the community. At 11 a.m., approximately 68 people formed 17 teams for the library's second annual Orient Community Road Rally. Library assistant James Pugh welcomed those who were taking part and handed each team a sealed envelope with clues and instructions that would take them to one of eight different mystery locations. The first stop, the library, of course. This could not have happened without our community partners, ONTV, the schools, Parks and Rec, uh, the DDA, uh, the Arts Center, so many uh, helpers with this, and it's always great to see such a great turnout, too. About three hours later, teams began arriving at the Rote Rally's final destination, the Camp Agawam Playground area. There, library staff tallied up the scores and participants enjoyed pizza and refreshments. When it was time to announce the winners, it was revealed that there was a four-way tie. The staff had to hold off announcing the grand prize winner until the submissions were scrutinized back at the library. We have a bunch of fun um, prizes. We have a, uh, for, uh, tickets to the Encanto sing-along. We have, uh, the schools gave us uh, some free passes to camp, want to have fun. And we have a fun little like yard, uh, road trip game that they can play. Also with gas, gas cards because gas cards are super expensive. <laughs> yeah, right. gas that might year. be the grand prize. Right? Yeah, yeah, gas this year. Ugh. But I'm, I'm so happy everybody got to come. I'm so glad everybody got to, uh, wanted to do it again. And I'm very pleased with the turnout this year. For more information about upcoming events, you and your family can take part in at the library. Be sure to visit orionlibrary.org. And finally, the Orion Area Chamber recently hosted yet another ribbon cutting ceremony. But since this particular business doesn't have a brick and mortar location, a fellow business owner stepped up to help. On Thursday, June 16th, members of the chamber, as well as family and friends, gathered at the Orion Grill on Baldwin Road for a ribbon cutting ceremony. But it wasn't the restaurant that was celebrating its grand opening. They had their opening back in March. Orion Grill was just the setting as Comparian Insurance Agent David Rose celebrated his grand opening. Okay. Three, two, one. Yep. Nine. <laughs> well, the, the Orion Area Chamber has just been a phenomenal resource for me. Um, welcoming me as soon as I moved into the Orion Area uh, a couple of months ago, back in January. Um, Friends of mine in the business world said, hey, you need to need to come on board with Orient Area Chamber. They're, they're, it's a great chamber. The, the way they support the, the you know, business people in the area to help us all grow and be successful and be successful members of, of, uh, of the business community here and, and, and help serve the rest of the residents is just so important. Comparing insurance agent David Rose began offering his services to customers about one month prior to the ribbon cutting ceremony. Since then, Comparian has become the nation's largest independent insurance agency. Comparian Insurance Agency is a new agency, brand new, created by Liberty Mutual Insurance. You know, Liberty, Liberty, Liberty. <laughs> well, they created a uh, independent agency for all of us agents that have in the past worked for them and now we have a panel of different um, insurance companies that we can help our clients find the best the best uh, policy for their needs. For more information you can call 248-699-3200 or search for David Rose Comparing Insurance Agent on Facebook. The ceremony was presided over by former Chamber Director Kim Urbanowski 
Kim has stepped in on an interim basis following the departure of director Noelle Champagne. An executive search committee has begun the process of identifying, interviewing, and eventually selecting the chamber's next executive director. And with that, we'll wrap up this edition of ONTV News. On behalf of the hardworking ONTV News team, I'm Stacey Calloway. Thanks for watching.